Why do you deserve a shot at love? Alicia, good luck. Oh my God. Hi, I'm Alicia and I'm an event coordinator. I'm very organised, I love to be on top of my game. What love means to me is, you know, somebody that will always have your back, somebody that loves to show you off, is proud of you at all times. If I do meet the right guy, of course I would like to get married, but I just don't think I've met the right guy yet. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully I'll find that here in South Africa. Yeah. Well done, darling. Well done. Next up, Victoria, please. I'm a proper northern girl. I've even represented my city in the Miss England competition. So I was crowned Miss Leeds in 2009. I think I have been in love, but I don't think I've, well, I've definitely not met the one yet. I have had so many ups and downs in relationships. I've had my heart broke so many times. And I'm here to just find that, that final person that I want to be with, that I want to settle down with. I'm here to find love, man. What I think the other girls are going to make of me, I hope they like me. I think it would make it very difficult if they didn't, but at the same time, I don't want to be fake. I want to find that person that I can travel with, laugh with, sit on the sofa, watch stupid movies. I've been in relationships before, I've been in love before, but they never work out. There's always some sort of dramatic end to them all. I've travelled the world and I've never found love. I definitely don't have a game plan. I've not even thought about that. I think the best thing you can be is yourself. Anyone that I've ever dated as a boyfriend has never been loyal to me. I've been engaged um, and that didn't work, which is like quite heartbreaking. I was super nervous. I had all these thoughts racing through my head and I just thought, what am I gonna say to prove that I really deserve to be in this competition? Hi, I'm Farron, I'm 35 and I'm a Pilates instructor. I'm originally from New York City. You can take the girl out of Manhattan, but you cannot take the Manhattan out of the girl. I wear my heart on my sleeve. So this is something I massively struggle with. I'm very vulnerable and I get hurt very, very easily. And I'm constantly being told by my parents, stop falling in love with everyone. <laughs> I'm here because I've had a terrible year on dating apps, which are horrid. Cut a long story short, everything has gone tits up this year. I'm Lily, and I truly believe in love. I actually want to feel that feeling that I'm head over heels in love with someone. I was in a seven and a half year relationship, which ended three years ago, and I haven't really found the right guy since. Oh, gosh. Oh, hi, I'm Georgie. I'm 30, I'm an entertainer, and I'm a hopeless romantic. <laughs> I think I've always been searching for the one but I've been having a lot of fun whilst I'm getting it wrong, <laughs> finding the wrong one. I really believe in that fairy tale and I believe in Prince Charming and I'm so unlucky in love and I'm really, like, I'm, like, I'm 30, I'm ready, so I just want to be loved. <laughs> oh. oh God, I sound so desperate, sorry. Amazing, darling. well done, well done. Okay, next up, Rianne, please. Hi, guys. My name is Rianne and this is gonna be like pretty emotional for me. Two years ago, I actually got divorced. I was married at 23. I moved to America for him. And uh, yeah, it was really hard. He actually broke my heart into a million pieces. Sometimes you're meant to go through like heartbreaks and things like that just to become a better and stronger person. And I feel like all of us have done that. So, oh my God, I feel really proud for <laughs> Sorry. Honestly, it was like Noah's Ark. Everyone was crying their eyes out. It was awful. I'm Abby. I've got a little boy. He's five years old. So it's really hard sometimes for me to put myself out there to meet someone new, especially when you've got that stigma attached to you, like you're a single mom. Oh my God. Like a day Girls. You know, this is an opportunity that came out of nowhere and I needed to take it because I need to find that soulmate. I need to find that connection. And I just honestly just want to find someone that I can build a life with and be passion, you know? Passion. Last but not least, Natasha. At the beginning of this year, I came out of an eight-year relationship. I haven't really dated since. I find it a really exposing experience to stand up in front of, you know, 16 girls that you've never met before and really sort of 
bear your soul. I've just plummeted myself into work, really working on myself. I don't even know why I'm crying. Take a deep breath. It's because you're nervous. I was just trying to get out what I wanted to say without crying. I feel like I've worked really, really hard. Um, and now I kind of am in a good place to meet someone and to move forward. So I'm just hoping that this will be it for me. Do you know what, Natasha, I, I didn't even hear her. Like, she's so small and quiet, I, didn't, I don't even know what she said. Like, legit. Girls, I've just met you and I found that so hard. But, after all, it is a competition to win the heart of The Bachelor. It's over to you now to vote for the two girls that you think are here for the wrong reasons. Good luck and I'll see you soon. I thought it was brutal. This is so hard. Every single one of these girls like deserves to be here in their own different way. Oh, oh God. So bad. <laughs> Ladies, the votes have been counted. Natasha and Farron, you'll be leaving immediately. I was devastated when he said Natasha and Farron. I was really, really gobsmacked. Please say a quick goodbye and make your way this way. Oh my God, I can't believe that. I felt weirdly sort of betrayed by the other girls. I do feel like the girls' decisions were possibly a bit tactical. I think people would have found Natasha a threat because she's beautiful, she's very lovely, she's genuine, and I think The Bachelor would have fancied her. You're a crow, you're, you're a crow. Crow. <laughs> I definitely think people saw Farron and Natasha as a threat. I definitely saw them both as a threat. I think so. You know when you have a feeling. Natasha, my darling, we need to make our way. I'm so sorry. 